fine big baby, I'll share. Welcome to episode number two of the Dog Pound Outdoors. I'm your host, M-Dog, and I want to thank you for tuning in and spending your time here with me. In this episode, I'm going to take you guys with me to Schrader's Outdoors in Henderson, Maryland, which is in Caroline County on the eastern shore of Maryland for an upland bird hunt. Schrader's Outdoors conducts upland game bird hunts six months out of the year from October 1st to April 30th, seven days per week. These hunts provide hunters with a practical alternative to expensive wild upland bird hunts. Schrader's Outdoors strives to make your hunt as close to a wild upland bird hunt as possible without having to travel over to the western United States. Their professional guides and well-trained bird dogs are sure to make your hunt a very memorable experience. The upland bird hunts are conducted over warm season grasses, cool season grasses, ditchways, and sorghum fields you are guaranteed the opportunity to shoot pheasant, chucker, and quail that have been released for your hunt. They provide guided and unguided upland hunts. Their goal is to give you the pleasure of knowing that a day in the field will produce an opportunity at the birds of your choice, whether it be pheasants, chucker, quail, or all the above. For this hunt, I was able to hook up with a great group of hunters that were kind enough to let me tag along with them and film their hunt. These guys were super cool and a lot of fun. You know they had to have a great sense of humor if they had me hang out with them. Go figure. One of the guys is an army veteran as well, so it was an honor for me to film their hunt. To be perfectly honest, I didn't know what to expect with release birds or how challenging it would be to hunt them. But after this hunt, all of my questions were answered. If I didn't already know that these birds were released, I would have thought they were just normal wild, wild birds. The hunts take place on a farm that is wide open with no hidden boundaries that would keep the birds contained. They are free range on the farm. The birds act like wild birds and when they are flushed out of their cover they fly as well as any wild bird that I've ever hunted. If the hunters miss their targets those birds were gone and you may never see them again. This hunt was a true hunt with the only difference being that you are guaranteed to see them at least once. If you missed the first time, all bets were off. Bye bye birdie. You guys will see what I'm talking about in just a few minutes. So let's head out to the field, join in with this group of hunters, and I'll see you guys back here in a bit for my final thoughts. Got him. 
Yep. Yep. Wait, I'm taking that. credit for that one. Right here, right here, right here. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> here, here. And whenever you want, I pull my backpack to put them in too. Mm -hmm. He probably did so many that day. Yeah. All right, fellas, be set here. That's what you call Smoke City right there. Yeah. I thought he was going to use his army tactics. That's how it's done. Here, 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 I'm just glad you spent a lot of money so you can hit something. Stand up, burn up, burn up. Shells. He wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I was aiming for his head. <laughs> Pretty close. Two. Here, buddy, here. All right, fellas. What do you say we could try to find some of these quail? Yeah, it's cool with me. I definitely know we got one right in this next trip. So we'll work our way through these strips one more time and hit. Hip, hip, hip. No. Don't go 
on him? Oh, yeah. You missed the first shot, I saw the second shot. Second shot, destroyed him. Welcome back to the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts on the Upland Bird Hunt with Schrader's Outdoors on a farm here on the eastern shore of Maryland. I have to say that this was a pretty awesome hunt. We had a great time with our new friends. I don't always need to be behind the trigger to have a great time on a hunt. When I have the chance to film a group of hunters making memories that will last them a lifetime, it's pretty cool knowing that I'm helping them document the time spent together so that they can relive that hunt over and over again. So, to the hunters that allowed us to hang out with them on our hunt, thank you for the pleasure of meeting you guys, and I hope we get to cross paths again in the great outdoors. I also want to thank Mr. Kenny Schrader, the owner of Schrader's Outdoors, for making this possible. Kenny is a legend in the business and highly respected by anyone who knows him, someone that I'm proud to call a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Dog Pound Outdoors. And if you'd like to book an upland bird hunt here at Schrader's Outdoors or try your luck on their state-of-the-art sporting clay course, I will post their contact information right up here in the corner of your screen. And it will be right down here in the description of this video for your convenience. Give them a call and let them make the most of your time in the outdoors, one memory at a time. If you have a favorite hunting memory that you'd like to share with us, or just something you'd like to talk about, drop a comment right down here in the comment section of this video. I personally read all of your comments and I will respond to your comment as soon as I see it. All I ask is that you please keep the comments respectful and be courteous to one another. We are all in this together and we all share the same passion for shooting in the outdoors or you wouldn't be here. Please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, I'd truly appreciate it if you'd also smash that subscribe button. This way you won't miss out on any new content and it helps the channel out tremendously. So, until next time, spend time with those that mean the most to you in the great outdoors. Have fun hunting, stay safe, but most importantly, God bless you and yours. I'm M-Dog and I'll see you next time on the Dog Pound Outdoors.